I am going to discuss what how to write query in Navigate ID. So first here opening the Navigate, then or uh, this place so there you need to select the connection and this place the database. So here if I here you can see this is the connection. So if I select here MySQL, okay then you need to click on this new query or then or uh, this place or MySQL that's come there. And or uh, this place you should uh, select your database. Uh, for Oracle, you need to double click on the connection, and or uh, this place you need should select the connection, and here the database HR that going to use. Now thereafter or uh, this place or uh, you need can write any kind of queries. So writing here select a star from. So select a star from and here I'm going to use employees. Employees table. Now if I run this, so by clicking this you can run the query and see the records. So here you can see the records and here hundreds it's a display. If I click on this hundred one, then 101. If I click here culture, then culture display. After that, this you can or make that beautiful forms so here there is the tab it's there beautiful SQL query now this is the beautiful form okay after that the next is or uh, this place here you can see there is the query builder if I click on this query builder or uh, then or uh, this place or uh, you no need to write only you need to click by clicking you can uh, perform some queries so or uh, this place first I don't want a star so uncheck that then after or uh, this place I need or uh, department ID and the next is salary two columns selected and uh, here after uh, we can make the group buys so here you can see different types are available so let's use your group by click on this or uh, plus then you should select the columns so here department ID that I'm going to apply so now this is the query select department ID the next is salary and employees and group by department ID okay and thereafter when that done so click on this build and run so there is the problems or with this query because we need to add we need to use aggregate function this place so let's include the aggregate or function or there now next to uh, when they're done click on save and click on here run so now you can see or uh, records are displaying or uh, displaying so making the department ID on the group by after that according to group by or uh, that string the addition of the salary okay so this is how now let's uh, click on this uh, or oh, this is a beautiful query forms now everything is looking now click on this query builder once again so this time so here you can see so we can apply here condition so you cannot see there is the where condition so going to use here having having and let's click on this plus select the columns this place so here salary applying on and uh, here you can just select the salary and provide the values okay so let's uh, give here 25,000 and after that click there now click on this build run there is a problem with the salary because this place we should use here aggregate function so something we should write and are uh, there going to give the condition greater than now let's click on this run then you can see so here you can see this is 60 has this 19 has this salary and 50 has some of this salary so this all salary is greater than 25,000 after that the next is here we can apply order by also so now you can see this is the department ID this is not in the order so click on this query builder this time is going to use here clicking order by and here 
you should uh, select your department ID. So this is not order, so making that in order wise. Now this is the query here. Click on this build and run. Now you can see 50, 60, 80, 90. This all is in order wise. Okay, so here you can see this. When I click here, or, or this one, so here you can see this records its displaying. And when I click here, so this is a query, query tools, query theories are there. So query theories here, this kind of performance that I did. Okay. So query builder is so very oh, beautiful things are there. So with the help of this, you can save lots of times. Okay. And you can also apply when there is so duplicate to data inside there. So you can apply the distance to or uh, load only unique records. If you select here, start this will select all and here this all there. So with the help of this, you can easily uh, write the query uh, and save the tabs. Here is the code snippet is there and uh, you can use this all those things. In, and if I click here for, okay, this is the for and for loop help it art develop there. And if I click here, on a case then you can get the help of the case okay so use the case so case case value when and here else and and else so this is how we can or uh, write to query in navigate id so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you